Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This is one of the little tanks I got for two bucks at the Goodwill that I was just going to um, try to grow some Java moss rocks in and eventually let it climb over that uh, mini terracotta plant for like a snail house. And I got a bunch of algae growing, as you can see, which is natural. Um, but there was a nice little buildup of it in there. And I decided to try a nerite snail. The camera's off. Um, to help clean it up. So you see all these little, see how it's kind of fuzzy looking right there? That's the algae, but these little clean spots, you can see these little roadways. That's what he's actually already cleaned since I put him in there. Um, but I was checking out, I if I can get a good look at him. Which one is he? I think this is the tiger near right. Um, I can't see what I'm filming. Uh, but I was watching Bub yesterday and I noticed something in his tank and I thought, what the hell is that? So I reached in, I got it, and it turns out we have a hitchhiker. There's a little teeny tiny baby snail hanging out in Bub's tank. So we know what would happen if we left him in there. It was up on the wall opposite Bub. And we know Bub would kill him. And I thought, you know what? Free snail. So he popped him in here, in this little tank, let him grow up, help tear up some of this algae. I'm not sure what he is. I'm, I mean, I'm positive he's a nearite. I just don't really know what kind yet. Because there's nearite, or sorry, tiger and zebras that are sold in the tank that, I'm assuming he hitched a ride on a plant that I got at Petco because they sell really nicely bunch plants rather than the tube kind at PetSmart. Um, I don't know if this will pick it up, but if you can kind of see, maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Well, it's kind of funny because you can actually see, let me even get it from this way. Um, it's not really showing up, but you can kind of see like these little trails, lighter colored trails in the algae. That's what little dude's already done. He's, I think you found a duckweed root. He's digging that. He's a fast little booger. He is all over. So we're going to see what he turns into. But, uh, that's cool because it, this little dude up here, he'll end up laying a bunch of eggs. This is an asexual snail. He'll end up laying a bunch of eggs, um, probably all over inside this little bowl. Uh, and they'll get messy, but they'll just end up essentially becoming aquarium compost. Uh, because from what I understand, these dudes need brackish water for successful lineage so i've got um moss balls some mini moss balls here go in a jar give them a stir we just added some water to them um and then there's our big jar that we've got some moss growing in we got a piece of cuttlebone in there we've got a shrimp and a nearite snail it goes shrimp so probably don't see him um Pretty sure he's still alive. He was alive this morning. Um, we got some of that moss on a can't really see it. Uh, stainless steel wire mesh there. We're gonna try to make some moss panels for our aquarium. Oops! Oh no, it froze. Oh no, that sucked. I moved too fast. I need a new phone. Um, get a little airstone in there. 
release some uh, toxins. They've, uh, these jars were actually really bad. This jar here and this jar here were both really cloudy and kind of grody, um, which I didn't mind because it's all, if there was nothing living in there, um, you know, it's all, like I said, aquarium compost and I'm all about composting. We got some of the black basalt eco uh, substrate in there, some coral, um, check some uh, crab cuisine food in there before I put anything living to help the bacteria start. Um, but yeah, they've cleaned it up. I know that light's awful. Sorry, y'all. Um, they've cleaned that water really, really well and I'm digging it. So, I don't know, there's a, there's a buttload of moss in there, so I don't know if anything's actually growing or what, but it's not dying. So, yay. Um, but yeah, we got a, uh, hey little dude, we got a, uh, where'd he go? Look, he's already on the bottom. Got a little baby. In there, boogieing around, tearing up that algae. He's a good boy. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to turn that into a little snail house. With some moss. Shrimps will probably like it, too. All right. Love you, babe. Have a good trip.